Hello Libra! It is time for your 2019 prediction year or whatever for next fucking year, which I guess you're feeling like there might not be a lot of movement with that, right? I'm reading the cards differently today. Different vibe, right? Okay. So, um, I won't be taking any personal readings until, like, after January 13th. But if you want, you can go ahead and email me requests and I'll do them for you. Um, my PayPal is also below if you want to donate. So all the information is going to be in the description box if you're curious or just want to know. Or if you just want to ask me questions, because I might do a QA and a in, uh, when I get a thousand people to like my shit and subscribe. But I don't know how Q and A's work, so I'm gonna have to like. I don't. I don't. I don't. I have no idea. I'm so confused about that. Anyway, we're just gonna continue on, and we're gonna do your 2019 reading of the year. What could possibly come to happen, right? Because that is important. Oh my goodness. All right, cards. We drop some now. How is the energy leaving? It looks like you're ready to work on some stuff leaving out of 2018. That is your energy for what you're leaving behind. Or what you're leaving. All that work, all that effort. First quarter says, oh, okay. There's a lot of feeling of, um... Either you had the fight dirty or you faced the defeat. Or maybe there was something dirty that happened. And, like, I don't know. I almost feel like that is defeat. I feel like you're walking away from something. And yeah. And now you're in the second quarter moving to calmer waters. Libra. That's insane. <laughs> like, wow. Like, moving from one to the other, huh? Like, none of this worked out. So, like... You gotta go this way. Like I, I like, I like to point out that, like, this guy is still sitting on the beach waiting for this person to come back or whatever. And But it's like, why would I come back? You have my weapon. You have everything. Just keep it all. My life's more valuable than any of that shit or you. You know? And it's like, someone doesn't understand that. <laughs> like, it's kind of the vibe I get. Like, someone's still being really petty or childish about something. But then they move on to calmer waters, right? Like, that's just the vibe. Or maybe that's you, because they have two different color hairs. Like, one has golden hair, the other one has dark hair. So someone could be moving on. What are the rest... What is the third? And fourth quarter, there's going to be my possibly insecurities following, because the four of pentacles kind of popped up, but it went back down. Someone wants to move ahead. Someone possibly wants to deal with, like, some booty. Someone might be going for a booty call. <laughs> Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, third quarter. Someone definitely is driving ahead, but they're driving ahead to what was in the past. Like, they're going to the past to get their energy going. Final quarter says someone might either be letting their guard down or they're becoming paranoid as hell. Right? We shall use my crow deck. My friend who was a Libra had this deck, but he passed away a long time ago. So I never really got to mess with his deck too much, but I did get one just like it because I really liked this deck. So I always thought it was weird that like people so always say, you know, like you can't buy your own deck. Someone's got to get it for you. I've never understood that. Like people don't know what the hell I like. I'm a fucking Capricorn. I don't talk about that shit. Like I come to do my job and go the fuck home after I get paid, you know, like so really discussing things like that is like really private. But I would definitely say don't worry about it. If any of you were thinking... I don't know why I was just thinking that. That was a weird conversation piece, but yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead with the crow and continue on with the years. What about this first quarter? We got someone definitely looking back at the past and seeing maybe it didn't go so well. There's another six, so something's definitely like wonky with the balance. But they're keeping that quiet. And over here, someone's moving from calmer waters when it comes to either a bad perspective, bad idea, 
a lie. Maybe they didn't see something the way that they should have. Or maybe they got what they wished for but didn't expect it to turn out the way that it did. I feel like... Huh. Libra. Wow. It's a weird first half of the year. Okay, so like... It's like someone possibly manipulated a situation in the background. It could have been you, Libra, but I don't know if it was. I don't think it was. But it is sword, so... You know. But it's like... Someone manipulated a situation... And now is only look, looking back on it with the bad view. In secret, right? Like, they're keeping that all hidden with the high priestess. And over here we have someone moving to calmer waters because of some lie or misconception or fucked up thinking that a wish that they wanted wouldn't come with any baggage, I feel like. You know, this is the wish card. Um, I feel like... Like, I always read it as with baggage, but, like, it's also, like, you know, hubris, right? Like, they, like be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it, and now someone's got to move on from there because they were completely wrong. I feel like that's what the ace is saying with the um, second quarter of the year of 2019. Ooh, come here. What are you doing? Crazies. I don't know why, but these cards, the colors remind me of the color of blood, even though that's not what color they are. They're actually orange. But. Well, they're a pumpkin red. I'll give it that much. I don't know why I remember what that color is specifically, but you know. What about the third quarter? What cards will pop up for it? For this energy of driving ahead, even though it's going to the past. Because he's facing the left, and the left usually represents what's behind you. Uh, wanting to move on to greater things. Maybe they're trying to show off to someone and be like, you know, I have more stuff than you. But, you know, that's kind of like jealousy, right? Like, why are you going to brag about what's going on with you to somebody? Like, with the intention of making them jealous, it's just like, that's stupid. You know? Like, why would you even bother trying to make someone jealous? That could be a possibility. Someone might be being a little bit shallow with their emotions. Like, but this is could also mean that, like, they're coming out of their shell and expressing themselves emotionally as well, I feel like. Because there's the crowd. This is definitely Cancer's card. Maybe they've been cooped up for so long because it's shy and tip in this. And maybe they're adventuring off to deal with their shyness and team in this. Maybe the fire is finally kicking up for them to get somewhere with themselves, you know? Give me that scenario, too. Yeah, because you are leading with the Eight of Pentacles wanting to um, work on stuff, right, Into out of 2018. And here is the Eight of Wands. Exceed. Surpass. I'd say that's a lot of energy. That's movement. That's like the movement of a crocodile. You're ready to go out there. Ready to drive. Someone is. A lot of energy to come out of your shell in order to get to where you want to go. That's a lot of energy. Libra. That's really cool. And then we got the nine over here. So look at that. Moving from like, not only exceeding, but I feel like coming out now. Because this is, this is coming up more for like coming out than it is like, you know, guarding way too hard. Like you're ready to charge out of your shell and like do things. And over here... You're coming out of that. You've opened the gate up to be like, oh, I'm coming out of this now. You're ready to start something new. Look at you. Look at you, Libra. You're ready. You're coming out. You're about to start something better. You might even get like a little sexual encounter. Mm. Libra. Uh, not Libra. Leo. Sagittarius Aries. This is a new start. Maybe new energy somewhere. Hmm. But, someone's not really coming out with it. Someone's actually keeping their mouth shut with the Knight of Swords. Um, someone's intentions and hunger aren't being relayed with this new beginning. When it comes to somebody who is a Queen of a Coin, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type, is the energy you're coming into... With 2019, somebody who is being very dependent, very demanding, wants people to do things for her automatically. 
The lesson in here. What is learned of the oneself, Leo? Or le I'm, I'm confusing you with a bunch of people today, Libra. I don't know why. This is your reading, I promise. But it's just, I don't know. Very weird. You're the only person I've done that to today. But, like, look at... We got... Someone wanting to come out of this cold. Someone not to feel distant anymore. Someone learning that, like, it would be better to, like, be with somebody who's an idiot, who's limp and can't talk. He's got a bell around his neck so people know where the hell he is because his hearing doesn't work. You know, sure, you gotta watch this dude. But at the same time, it's like, he's still there for you. He's still following you. He's still going. He's probably, you're probably the reason why he's gone through so much stuff to begin with. You know, because he looks like he's gotten messed up. Um, oh, Jesus. Double energy, okay? Like, this queen of pentacles once again. Someone is moving on from calmer waters. And getting the wrong idea about, like, a wish or desire or, like... <sighs> hmm. Because she's coming into it, too. It's like somebody wants to come to this person or someone wants to come to this um individual or become this individual who is dependent and has people to um wait on her hand and foot because that's how she is when she's reversed she is not nurturing she's not giving she's not kind she expects you to do things for her she's the opposite of the man's dream when the queen of pentacles is reversed and it's like someone has the wrong idea about wanting to be this individual it almost feels like it feels like someone wanted to become this and it, it didn't work out for them like they it was almost like they paid a price because she's here twice like be careful what you wish for because you just might get it if that's what you were going to come into the energy with libra or someone else is doing that because this is like freaking insane um, the lesson for the third quarter of the year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Libra. Wow. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is a lot of overindulgence. I think you realize that you can't indulge with such things and you have to get up and move. That's why you have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Wands and you come out of your shell with the Eight of Cups reverse, right? I think you're realizing you can't stay indulgent in this. I think you know that you have to change this. Because there's a good chance you can, these two could come together to make the Six of Pentacles for um, balance, right? What is about the fourth quarter? Oh, there will be changes coming. There's going to be the death of the old and in with the new. Possibly with the Scorpio. Or with that energy of like letting things die off, right? Like, you guys are, um... I think you're going to experience transformation. Something might change with you. And then, leaving and going into 2020, you guys are still not fucking... I don't think you guys like anybody. <laughs> I think you guys are done with, um... I think some of you have gotten to the point where you're done depending on other people and you're ready to change that and you're just like, no, I'm not giving my cup out to anybody. I'm just worrying about myself. It's left me feeling out left in the cold and I'm tired of this feeling. It's left me feeling dependent and bitter. It's left me feeling like I wasn't good enough to be an indulgence and I had to put myself into bad scenarios in order to make myself feel better and all I did was make it worse. I want that to change. No one's getting my cup. Fuck that. I'm going to give myself this cup. Right? I'm going to give myself this cup, and it's going to put me right side up to make me the nurturing, kind person I really want to be again. That's how I feel this is coming out, Libra. But that is your prediction for 2019, and I will see you guys next year. Bye-bye. Love, yes.